We May touches on some very interesting themes relevant to young people concerning relationships, society and the problems individuals may have in adapting to circumstances and accepting responsibility. All done in a generally light-hearted and engaging way. While recounting the story of Eglantine Laville, her disputes with her parents and her difficulties in the field of romance and sexuality, writer and director Yves Lavandier uses psychologist Erwan Moner to share insights on the nature and complexities of relationships, social security at the expense of ambition and fulfilment, and the need to recognise responsibility in others as well as in oneself, all relevant not only to adolescents, but also to most members of society. When Eglantine approaches Moner for a brief therapy, she reveals much about her parents and their relationships with her, one another and others. Through this context, we are invited to consider relationships in more general terms, and in particular the ways in which individuals try to manipulate and exercise control over others. We are invited to increase our awareness of our manipulation of others for our own ends. This may be achieved through encouragement, guilt, sympathy, or playing on a sense of obligation in order to gain proof of love or affection, prove superiority, or simply to have something done for us. However, the point of the game is to achieve this not by direct means or clear expression of desire, but rather to manipulate the thoughts and feelings of others so that the initiative appears to come from them, thus avoiding responsibility or even guilt. In analysing the relationship between Eglantine's parents, Moner points out that habit, tradition and acceptance of circumstances offer comfort and stability, though perhaps not happiness, possibly at the expense of change, development and evolution. He appears to suggest we often settle for circumstances through fear of the unknown or fear of failure. Eglantine's mother manipulates and pressurises her to stay with her, as Eglantine provides a source of stability, comfort and affection within a dying marriage but Eglantine wishes to exercise her desire for freedom and experience life for herself. This situation exemplifies and embodies the themes of manipulation and habit, and incorporates another essential theme, that of responsibility. By way of Moner's analysis, Eglantine, and the audience, comes to realise that the burden of responsibility needs to be reviewed so that individuals take responsibility for their own acts, decisions and circumstances. Although others may have contributed to circumstances, they should not be held entirely accountable, and ultimately the individual must accept responsibility for their own deeds and choices within their circumstances. Thus, manipulation may have no effect if responsibility need not be shared, and habit and acceptance of circumstance may be viewed as the individual's failure to take control and change those circumstances if they are unhappy. In the end, Eglantine learns to stand up for herself with regard to her mother, who, at the end of the film, refers to her daughter as ma grande fille, as opposed to ma petite fille in the course of the film, in recognition of her personal growth and development. She has broken free from the emotional restraints imposed by her mother and is free to lead her own life and make her own mistakes. A hugely important element of the film is Eglantine's relationship with boyfriend Sébastien, This relationship is clearly intended to illustrate manipulation, as dominance transfers from Sébastien to Eglantine, and responsibility as Sébastien grows to love rather than just lust after Eglantine. And we also witness Eglantine's faltering attempts to assert herself and grow as a person. Perhaps as a result of the comedic approach to making the film, Eglantine's parents are somewhat exaggerated, tend to be one-dimensional and don't incite much sympathy. Eglantine's mother requires greater depth and colour to be sympathetic or even tragic rather than just pathetic, while her father is barely fleshed out and really just serves to furnish problems for Eglantine and her mother. But they serve their purpose as an illustration of the relationship problems teenagers might have with their parents. At the beginning of the film, the psychologist Moner is more or less presented as the principal character, who explains various psychological principles and theories directly to camera offering amusing visual examples to make his points, and Eglantine's story is clearly to be an illustration of the application of these psychological theories and methods. However, this interesting, engaging and light-hearted technique is abandoned in the course of the film, and Moner goes on to become more of a conduit for psychological theories providing useful explanations and guiding our understanding, rather than a fleshed-out character in himself. Eglantine becomes the main character, and the film ends with a shot of her looking at ease with herself, more self-assured and mature. 
Although Moner shares a knowing glance at the camera in his final scene, it might have been more in keeping with the style and tone of the start of the film if Moner had once again addressed the audience and provided some words of wisdom in summary, or indeed if he had provided knowing and amusing asides for the benefit of the audience throughout the film. As a teacher, I used this film with senior pupils not just as a source of spoken French and to raise cultural awareness, but as a stimulus for conversation and written work, with pupils offering a discussion and review of characters and themes in French, and pupils find it engaging and thought-provoking. Altogether, I and my pupils enjoyed this film as it dealt with themes and thoughts that are important for personal development and growth at any stage of life, though I did feel the script appeared more assured when dealing with family relationships and problems rather than when exploring Eglantine's attempts to find herself and assert herself with her boyfriend. I also thoroughly enjoyed the initial style and tone of the film and rather regret that this could not have been maintained. But these are minor quibbles for a film that invites reflection and offers gentle but pertinent advice on relationships and responsibility in an amusing and engaging way. My thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it of some value.